How to add spaces to your Max doc. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload blog. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add space separators to the doc on your Mac. Now space separators are handy because it allows you to separate groups of apps, make groups of apps in your doc so that you can better organize the applications in your doc. It's really simple, really easy. The first thing you want to do is to launch the terminal application. And once you launch terminal, you want to just paste in the following command and you're going to be able to find this command on the post on iDownload blog. So I'm just going to paste this in here. You see it default space right space com dot apple dot doc blah blah blah. I'm not going to actually say all that. Just copy and paste this command and then paste it in your terminal and hit the return key like this. Now you want to type the following kill all which is one word space doc with a capital D and then enter. You're going to notice your doc disappear and when it comes back you're going to see a new space there on your doc and you can actually take that space and drag it like any other app to move ac across all the apps in your doc and then you can create groups of applications. So if I want all of my messaging apps there uh, to be grouped, of course I can have one spacer. Now I'm going to add another space just by performing the same command here and then put in kill all doc. And now I have a another space and now I'm just going to group all my little communication apps together. So I have my email messages, I have Slack, which is a, a team community uh, application for chatting with other team members at work. And then you also have Tweetbot there. So I have those four apps grouped together courtesy of these two spaces. Now, what if you wanted to add multiple spaces at the same time? Yeah, that's actually really easy to do. All you need to do is just enter this default space right command multiple times until you have the amount of spaces you want. So I'm going to add one, two, three, four additional spaces. Now I'm going to enter the kill all space doc command. And that should have been in four additional spaces. And you can see there's four spaces here. Now it doesn't look like much because it's just a space, but trust me, there are four there. Now, if I wanted to remove a space, all I need to do is just right click on the space and select remove from doc. Or you can just take it off and then just drag it off and release like that. Uh, that is how you can remove, remove those spaces super simply and quickly. So folks, I hope this was able to help you out how to put space separators on your dock in Mac OS 10. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload blog.